Recently, I was asked how to parse the text out of an HTML fragment in T-SQL. Over the next few seconds, my brain started to process the following ideas. SQL Server is not meant for parsing HTML. It should be done somewhere else in an application. It does have functions like char index and substring, though. I bet I could parse out some tags that way. Ooh, even better. I could write a CLR to do the parsing for me. Wait a minute. SQL Server has XML parsing functions. Now, I know XML and HTML aren't the same thing, but they have a lot of similarities in their structures. So before we get too far into this, I'm not saying that this is what you should be using T-SQL for. Ideally, if you need to parse some kind of string data, especially some kind of formatted string data like HTML, you should probably use a different tool for the job, something like a scripting language like C Sharp, right, which ideally will be able to do a much better job at that. And if you do have to do something like this in T-SQL and you need it to be reliable and fast and efficient, uh, you might want to write a custom CLR to handle that if you really need to do it there on the server. But I also understand that sometimes people get in a bind, uh, like it was in this scenario where you just need to get some HTML parsed and it doesn't need to be perfect. It's okay if it doesn't work in every single situation, uh, in which case this XML parsing functionality built into SQL Server works pretty well. So imagine we have this fragment of HTML, right? We have some nested divs, we have a list in there, some buttons, and let's say we want to extract the text out, right? Get rid of the elements. We don't care about the attributes and the values there. We just want to get the text out from within these tags. Using the XML nodes method makes this pretty simple. We could just say, hey, let's run nodes on our entire HTML fragment, and it will extract the value of the text in between each of the HTML elements, returning it just as a string. If we wanna get more fancy, let's say extract the text only from the list elements in this HTML, we can target those list tags and just grab the text from within those. We could even find elements based on their attribute values. Let's say we wanna find the div with a class of card body. We can find that specifying an X query path and then grab the text only from that one element. So while T-SQL isn't the optimal tool for parsing XML, in a pinch, you could use the XML functions built into T-SQL to get the job done. Now the XML functions are very strict in terms of formatting, so if your HTML isn't perfectly valid XML, you're gonna have a hard time using this method to parse the values out of your HTML fragment. But once again, if you need to get it done, this'll work. So hopefully if you find yourself in the situation of needing to parse out HTML and you can't do it somewhere else in some application, consider using these XML functions built into T-SQL. Uh, you'll probably have a much easier time doing it that way and it'll be slightly more efficient than having to use the different string functions like replace and substring. Uh, but you just need to be aware that it won't always work. Your HTML needs to be formatted correctly and with complete tags, just like proper XML would be. So thanks for joining me again this week. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.